Okay. We are all set. So yeah, let's get started. It's the trainee-led conversation. It's our Friday routine. This is where we get to know our trainees, like what's their background, what knowledge do they have uh, that they would want to share with us. Like, you know, everything around them sharing us uh, their knowledge or things they believe in or any trending tech news any training thing they would like us to be updated on and then we get to learn from them so you being here really clap for yourself because this shows that you care about the community and you care about your trainees and actually you want like to be using this kind of interactions as a foundation to long-term relationships with your colleagues so it's so super but before we invite them let's show them some reactions like some really welcoming reactions on the stage okay okay i'm seeing them coming okay thank you so much guys thank you so much i'm seeing hearts i'm seeing excitement okay big time so fatai and betty this is your time to shine <laughs> i was thinking that you were putting on video so it's okay show us yourself <laughs> so let's get started let's get started the floor is yours big time yeah good day everyone Thank I... you. can you hear me yeah we can hear you all right so good day everyone i i want to believe you're having a, an amazing day so today, uh, I and my colleague Bethlehem will be walking you guys through on uh, a very interesting topic, which is building LD habits. Uh, and we are going to be giving you guys a case study of our personal experience in terms of building LD habits and how we've been able to navigate this particular routine over the years. So uh, we'll be starting by introducing ourselves and talking about our personal backgrounds. I am a graduate of mathematics from the University of Lagos here in Nigeria. I am a data engineer, uh, a data scientist, and a, and a data analyst. I've also worked as a product designer in the past before entering the data space, and I have worked on a couple of design projects. Right now, I currently work as a data analyst here in Nigeria, while I also study data engineering in Ten Academy. So Betsy, uh, let's hear about your background also. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. As you can see, my name is Betty Lehmavratu, or you can just call me Betty. I'm a graduate from Electrical and Computer Engineering Department from AIP, in, and I'm from Ethiopia. Uh, my resume is not that much like Abdul Salam, but I have a worked on the lighting designs for many kinds of buildings, architectural designs mainly for residents, apartments, and mixed purpose buildings and some factories. And yeah, that's all I can say for now. Absalam, over to you. Okay, so uh, before we, we move further, we need to talk about uh, some fun facts about us. So I'll be starting by saying uh, one of uh, the fun facts uh, you know, know about me is I actually love traveling, but unfortunately, I've not been able to move out of Nigeria. Even in Nigeria, we have 36 states. And unfortunately, I've not been like, I don't think I've been to more than three states. Uh, that's actually due to the fact that I've always been indoors. Like, um, like moving forward, I would actually love to explore traveling to other states and other parts of the country. And another fun fact about me is I can't dance to save my life, basically. I, 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 I'm not a fan of dancing and I actually don't like music also. Yeah, so I also love football. I love watching football and I love playing football also. And finally, I am a Chelsea fan. Yeah. Betsy, over to you. <laughs> okay. That was a fun fact. So I will be sharing my fun facts. Uh, it might be weird for some people. And usually when I'm alone, I act like a child. I could play with my kids. I could sing. I could go around the house. <laughs> I know I just like sometimes for myself as well. But I'm, I guess I'm kind of childish when I'm alone. So some other facts I could say is that something could happen at some time and I could remember those things and just laugh on my own, even if I was with, my, with someone else or just sitting by myself. I could remember something that happened way back and just 
<laughs> my oh my what? Another fun fact would be I like gardening, I like planting, I like seeing fruits grow up. Yeah, I guess that's just what I have to say. I'll pass along over to you. Okay, so before we proceed, we would like to ask uh, uh, some questions, uh, and we are going to make it an open question to anyone you know who wants to share his uh, experience about uh, this particular topic. So the first question I would be asking, this is basically just to create a kind of uh, in, uh, conversation among everyone and you know, you guys should also con contribute because this is actually going to be uh, a conversation, not us just going to be, you know, the only person talking, you also can contribute and, you know, give us insight about what you're also experiencing. So the first question I would actually ask is what LD habits are you building and yeah, I just need to hear from you. And also, I saw Ibrahim Teka posted a particular article about James Clare, uh, atomic building, uh, atomic habits. So that is actually another LD habit I also build. I love reading, and that particular book is uh, is a very important book that I would actually recommend everyone should read about. So let's share our experience in terms of building LD habits. Is there, is there anyone that wants to share his experience in this particular aspect? Remember, guys, participate. Otherwise, we're not going to be participating when it's your turn as well. Exactly, exactly. So let's hear from you guys. Oh, Sheila, you read Atomic Habit also, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've read it. OK, is there any other person? How you do? Okay, uh, if there is no other person to talk about this particular question, I would uh, move to the next question and Bethlehem would, you know, be the one in charge of this. Okay, I'm sure you all have, would have something to say about this. So, in your see at Ten Academy, how many of you feel overwhelmed by the demand of Ten Academy tasks? And have you ever felt or considered how healthy how it might help validate those threats. I'm sure anyone has, everyone almost, everyone has something to say. Just share with us with that. Okay, Sheila, go on. Hi, guys. So, uh, Hi. can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so, um, yeah, obviously, I feel overwhelmed by the demands of an academy tasks like every week. I have to be overwhelmed. And um, yeah, one of a healthy habits, stop laughing, Martin. A healthy habit <laughs> that I have actually, <laughs> I, I think can actually help me alleviate some of this stress is one that I learned. Okay, I read Atomic Habits combined with um, a book called 5 a.m. Club, and waking up at 5 a.m. every day would actually help me alleviate some of that stress because, like, it dictates like the first hour of like waking up you like do things to make yourself feel healthy and i feel like that's yeah that's something that might actually i haven't tried it yet because i'm lazy but yeah okay so is there any other person okay. anyone else who might want to share their idea with us come on guys i know you have something to say davis don't you have anything to say Martin, what about you? Don't you have anything to say? Did you call me with Helen? Yeah, I was <laughs> asking for your opinion on this question. Yeah, uh, I, I always get overwhelmed, like Sheila said, uh, every week uh, by the challenge, but it's exciting challenge. Uh, but uh, so the, one of the healthy habits I want to develop is that uh, waking up early in the morning. I have tried. I I don't like waking up early in the morning. I think I love uh, staying at night. I stay maybe at four, up until four. But uh, I wake up late, maybe three in the uh, nine in the morning. So the maybe. 
waking up early, like Sheila said, maybe that's a good idea to accomplish things early. That's very nice, job. <laughs> I guess you like sleeping. I don't know if you'll be sleeping if we stay in Academy a lot. Okay, great. I do some press ups or take a walk daily. That's very nice, great. Uh, taking walks, very nice. Anyone else might want to share their ideas? Should I call out names <laughs> like the stand ups? Michael? Michael, are you there? Okay, Abdurrahman. Hello, guys. Hello, Abdurrahman. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, uh, you don't have a special thing to to be able to handle this uh, stress, but uh, I. My technique is not focused on my grit, so if they're good, I will be happy. This is a good thing, but uh, when they go bad, this is will put me in the stress. For example, if they bad for two weeks, this uh, will make me under stress. So I ignore them, and this is make my life better. <laughs> okay, after one. I will be sharing with you some of our healthy habits. Maybe you can try those. So she has a comic habit. Sorry, I'm thinking Grace says she keeps that fresh and one day, one day says a beer a week keeps the stress away. So you're moving to alcohol. At least two says trying to work with others. So you're saying trying to work with others. Yeah, that's good. We can go on to the next question. Okay, so uh, the third question we'll be talking about is, uh, uh, I think this is actually related to the uh, previous question, uh, which is, uh, do you get overwhelmed with 10 academic routines? Obviously, yes, because like Jabis mentioned, uh, you just have to wake up, you just have to be up to like 4 a.m. in the midnight and still wake up by 8 a.m. in the morning for, uh, for, for the daily standard, basically. It's not, uh, it's not an easy thing to do, you know, like it's just like if you've been sleeping seven hours daily when you join 10 academy definitely you can you can never sleep seven hours because as you are getting closer to the deadline of uh careers challenges at the same time you're also looking at the technical challenges and you know you want to manage uh your time and be able to meet up with the deadlines definitely you have to you know the the tasks are overwhelm overwhelming and the routine is a very challenging one so one of the, the question, the particular question I want to ask you is, how do you manage the stress? Like, what do you do? Like you said now, Jabis, you said you wake, you are up until 4 a.m. in the midnight and you still manage to wake up uh, like early in the morning in order to meet up with the stand-up. Can you share with us, like, how do you feel and do you miss stand-up in some cases or what's, what measure do you, do you take to uh, overcome this particular stress? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for, yeah. For now, I I love coffee and I use coffee <laughs> just to wake up early in the morning. I I I don't think that's a good. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. But, because I have too much of coffee now, it's actually not good for the body. I used to take coffee while I was in school, you know, in order to meet up with, uh, in order to meet up with my syllabus and you know prepare for exam. But I I mean. <laughs> yeah when i was in uh, university I even we we would took coffee with uh, coca and uh <laughs> that's, that's a very crazy combination <laughs> yeah but uh, for now i'm i am okay but uh hopefully we are in the we are in the six week so six weeks left for the challenge uh for this intensive training so uh, for uh, for this, I think I will manage. You will manage. Okay. So what time? What time do you sleep? What time do you sleep? Like, do, do you sleep during the day, or you still work? You still engage yourself in ten academic tasks? Uh, I take usually I take forty five minutes nap every day. 
in the in the daytime oh that's uh, that's amazing that's amazing yeah so is there any other person that wants to share how he or she has been able to manage the uh the stress yeah i can i think martin has raised his hand okay martin you can go ahead yeah um uh... Hello, 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 you guys. Hello, Bethlehem and uh, Fatih. Your your presentation uh, is quite, quite uh, interesting. Uh, hello, Martin. Hi, I, I'm sorry, man. But anyway, anyway let, uh, let me answer this. Uh, how do I manage my stress? I I I do what Jabez does. I do. I sleep at four, but I wake up at nine as well. I I sleep. Uh, so I between when we're having this community build up stuff. I sleep. That's when I said, you know, let me sleep for I think I think from two to like four for like an hour. Then uh, because between eleven to to like uh, two the stand up on that first uh, tutorial, I be awake. But then I sleep in between. Then again, I I try to sleep like from like five to maybe like uh, like six or like from six to seven so that I can get some sleep. Then I stay awake till four. Then I wake up at five. But now. Uh, it was a bit difficult uh, during the first first few weeks, but now I don't know. It's not routine, so I'm I'm really used to it. So it's healthy, I, I guess, for me, yeah, and it works. Of course, yeah, it it, it can get really overwhelming, but <laughs> like the career challenges, I uh, I I do. Like, I think I, I think I shared this. I, I do career challenges when I'm resting. They are more for resting because I don't really use a lot of mental. I don't really use my mind a lot because they are career challenges and i'm not really doing a lot so that's when i like if i'm chilling and i'm listening to music i, I do career challenges so that's what i do and it helps so or like uh right now i'm not home like i'm at i'm at, I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm at the office so at around between five to seven i'll do career challenges because i'll be chilling i'll listen to some music and do do these challenges that pascaline sends us and yeah and uh, that's how I try to manage them because if you push them for if you push them till Saturday, tomorrow tomorrow you'll be panicking because you have the career challenges. They're like four. You have to do slides. I don't know. You have to do what? You have to do the report. It's like all that stuff that goes on on that final day on Saturday. So you you overwhelmed. You you know yeah. And you want to submit by eleven and then you can't. So it's, it's a lot. And you also want probably like you know breast. Yeah, so that's how I try to manage my week. Yeah, I think that, that that's amazing. Uh, and I think the 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 tasks are becoming more simplified, you know, since we have to work in group now, you know, uh, compared to when you have to do the whole projects uh, individually. So I think it's becoming more interesting. And like you said, uh, taking like two, one hour to two hours nap during the day actually works. Definitely it works. Like and you said you listen to music and you know while working on your uh on your challenge on your challenges basically. I personally that I don't love I don't like listening to music. What I do basically is I, I have FIFA I have a FIFA game that I play whenever I I I want to you know take uh I want to rest basically whenever I've been working and I needed to rest. So I actually play FIFA and you know communicate with my friends. So uh, one more person before we move on with this slide to tell us how he or she has been able to manage this first. One more person, one more person. Anyone who's willing to participate won't be calling out names. Stand right when you're <laughs> Actually, I was not just, I was just, I was, I was not used to music. I didn't grow up listening to music. Not that I have a personal issue with music. It's not what I love to do. But when someone plays it, I, I listen to it. Like, but it's not something I would actually play on my phone and start listening. I, I guess that's just your personal preference, right? Personal. What did that's you say? Your personal preference. Not listening. I will nag. Someone is saying something in the chat. I will nag my baby boy not to disturb me in the evening, uh, at least to open my laptop at home. So I think uh, we can move on with the presentation. Yeah, so the next thing is uh, to tell you guys some, you know, some actually some important part of uh, building uh, LD habits. So did you guys know that daily habits can help you 
help your mental resilience to handle life challenges, basically, most especially 10 academy uh, routine. So it's actually not an easy one just to be on your on your system 24 hours and you know you don't have a uh, time where you where you wait when you build out uh when you work on a particular LD habits basically. So also one of uh, the things I'll be talking about is road jogging actually makes your day productive and gives you energy to tackle daily tasks. This is actually what I've been doing and it actually works for me to be honest. It actually works for me and I feel it's something you know we should also consider if you are the type that you know you want you like jogging you like exercise and if you can't go on the road jogging you can get a treadmill in your in your in your house and you know you just make use of it every every morning before you start uh, your daily task. So Beth, kindly uh, tell us about your path. Some of the healthy habits I have developed would be like drinking water. I've noticed that drinking was a very important thing because we usually get dehydrated as we forget to drink water. Like I've seen most most people or many people who are sitting on their laptops daily. They they won't drink water at all. Some just say they forgot it. Some they say they don't want to go to the restrooms. But I think it's good for you. You don't want to be dehydrated. You don't want to have anemia. If you have that, you won't be able to work. So it's Good to look out for your health as well and drink water. And the more water you will be drinking, the more you will be visiting the restroom. So the more you will be moving as well in the house. And some other thing that I can say as a healthy habit would be stretching. Stretching is just a simple exercise you can do. You can do it while sitting, you can do it while standing up. You can move your legs, you can move your hands, and it's very good for you to have a good sitting posture and uh, have a nice body. Abdus Salam, over to you. Okay, so this particular, please, you guys should not laugh at my pictures. <laughs> this particular aspect is actually giving you guys case studies of uh, our personal, you know, habit. So I personally, uh, I built a uh, habit of daily exercise resulting in waste loss and, you know, increasing energy. So this was me in 2017 when I started this particular habit. And I do at some point, you know, when I have a lot to do, probably uh, I have an exam in school. You know, I used to reduce the number of time I go road jogging. So this was me in 2017 when I started and I've been consistent with it. And look at me in 2023 with my accountability partner. Yeah, basically. So it's actually what I what I do, and it has been working for me. Now I've gotten used to it. I don't feel any pains, uh, any pains while doing it. So this is uh, these are also some of the pictures I took. This was when I was uh, in a gym. This was me, you know, checking out my muscles if everything is building, and this was me trying to rest after you know after uh, working out basically. So yeah, this is the the habit I've been built. I've been able to build over the years, and it has been working for me. It has helped me to manage my stress, and it has always, you know, made my day productive. Yeah. So Beth, over to you. Let's hear your own case. So unfortunately for me, I don't have any pictures to show you. <laughs> I don't have anyone yeah. else to take my pictures of me. You have taken a selfie of yourself taking water. I don't know. I wanted to, but I couldn't. It didn't look good. <laughs> it didn't look good in my eyes, so I didn't take any picture. <laughs> so what I wanted to say is drinking water is very good. So what I usually do is I put a bottle of uh, or a glass in front of me. So each time the, bot the bottle is empty, I remind myself to drink and fill it up again. Or I would look around where there's water so that I can be drinking water. And there was a point in my life where I was like not drinking any kind of water. And I was very dehydrated and I had headaches. And those headaches were very disturbing and I couldn't work. So I have come to realize that drinking water is very important. And you can just take a sip or a small amount of water, but it's very good for you. Okay, so we have uh, we have another question here. Uh, what strategy do you use in building LD habits? So before I call people out to talk about this, I actually want it in this format. You know, what plan do you create? So it has to be in three categories. Uh, the first one is uh, the plan. 
another or the second one is what do you do to stay consistent because definitely at some point you'll be you'll be demotivated and something must keep you consistent basically and how do you monitor your progress let's hear from you guys uh yeah kindly share with us how you've been able to know you know the strategies you use in building uh your own ld habits uh what in am i going to the she or should you pick and don't be bad <laughs> willingly if they are willing just to participate we don't want to approach them uh no one is raising up his or hand come on Mister, you've not spoken. Hi, guys. This is just the you know. Okay, so the, this is the question. We're talking about the strategies you use uh, in building uh, LD habits. So I said I want it in this format. The plan you create. How do you how do you plan it? And how do you stay consistent? Because obviously, at some point, you would be demotivated. And how do you monitor your progress? So I, I wanted to share it in this format, basically. All right, Daisy. Daisy, Daisy. Uh -huh. yeah, Why did you? So I said her name is, I think, Daisy, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. So for me, my strategy is journaling i have a diary and whatever new habit i try to form i write it down first and then i make sure i follow those steps no matter what i follow them and yeah it works and i give myself about a month for the habit to set in because that's the standard time when you actually start to see changes in yourself okay so what are the habits are you building For now, for now I have well the habits I have they're working for me. I don't have a new one that I am trying to so. Okay, okay. I think Jarvis can share his strategies because I guess he spoke about uh a particular early habits he's building. Jarvis. Yeah. Okay, Hilari, Hilari. Oh, Jarvis should go first. Jarvis, yeah, go, go first. So in building the habit, I, I think previously you mentioned about uh, atomic habit, I think. So yes, yes. There are, yeah, there are some strategies that I think uh, I try to use, like uh, one is making it obvious. Uh, so any things I want to, uh, any habit I want to build, I, I try to make it obvious as possible. Uh, so, for example, uh, when I uh, uh, want to study, uh, there I have a specific chair, specific table for studying. So when I sit there, they, I don't think about other things. I just only think about studying. I don't use TikTok in that chair. I don't see moving that chair because if I that that chair is dedicated only for studying. So. Maybe making it obvious, it's good for uh, building a habit. So it's the chair for you, Javis. Hilary? What, what did you say, Betty? I think I said it's just the chair for you, like. It's not just the chair, it is uh, like. Uh... <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have, to, uh, if you, you can, you can tell us about the general, or if you have a specific one, you, you know, you've been able to develop, you can talk about it. Hilary, let's hear from you. If you have a specific one, you know, you can talk about it. Okay. Or if you just want to give us in general, it's also fine. Okay. So my strategy for developing a, I, I can say general, uh, I remember, uh, for, for developing a general habit. Okay, first of all, uh, I like your organization of tabs. I I didn't know how you can group tabs like that in Chrome. Uh, thank you for that idea. <laughs> and uh, also, oh, thank you, Pascal. 
Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, you should thank Pascal. Uh, <laughs> uh, so first of all, is that um, for general strategy, I I uh, for to develop a healthy habit is that uh, for you know for for you to for you to become a habit for like one action to become a habit, it has to like like. Uh, they say 21 days or so so for me the strategy is to be consistent in the the first uh weeks three weeks be consistent at least if it, even if it bothers so much you know try to sacrifice whatever it was like if it was entertainment try to sacrifice it for those weeks and uh, it will be uh when you get to the last weeks like of the month uh, you'll be probably fine not worrying about that much and uh because Gen uh, for specific like uh, for me I'm trying to uh, wake up early uh, really uh, like I've been waking up early uh, since the past uh, one and a half months and uh, um, I wake up at for that uh, latest or uh, if early like three so for that is that I, uh, for me, I have to sleep early, so I have to prepare everything uh, before going bed early enough, cook early, uh, and take supper early. So I shouldn't, uh, I'd, I should say to myself, oh, let me work on this task, then uh, then I'll just eat, uh, then uh, I'll be lying to myself. So I'll, I just I just ensure I do everything early enough by four, by five, I'm done. Uh, and for, for like four, from uh, avoiding TikTok and such, uh, like entertainment when it's not the right time. I leave my phone kind of far away and uh, maybe put it on call, uh, let notification come. Uh, like I, no, uh, only notifications I can allow is like calls. So I put it very far and if I have to wake up, I know I won't feel good. So, yeah. Yeah, that's phenomenal. So mm, yeah, for I I got, on away. Yeah, I think the point I got, I, Javis also mentioned this. You know, when you want to, when you are actually out work, you should, you know, you should stay away from TikTok, Instagram, or whatsoever distraction. And I think I've been able, like, I would, I would actually work on that part because whenever I work, I also, I do have my phone beside me, and whenever I hear a notification, I would actually want to, you know check okay well what is going on who is sending a message and i think it's it has always been a distraction i think i also maintain that practice also by okay let's say i want to work for two hours straight without any distraction you know you keep away your phones stay in a very silent place and uh you know focus mainly on one what you want to achieve but uh, for that particular duration basically so is there any other person that wants to share his uh, strategy let's take one more person before we uh continue Absalom, can Sheila. you slide the slide? All right. Okay, anyone? Sheila, weren't you gonna say something? She's... No, you mentioned my name and then you guys said we continue. So no, I, I want you to... so you want you to talk. <laughs> you want me to talk? Okay. <laughs> yes. um, say something. Um, so the question is, what strategy I use in building healthy habits? Oh, my God. Um, I know I'm big on saying that I've read the two books, like the 5 a.m. club and the atomic habits. And they were trying. I was really struggling to build healthy habits, especially waking up in the morning. I saw that one. I haven't been able to do it. Even if I sleep as early as eight, I won't. But I think what Daisy has said, journaling is really, really nice. Like writing down things you want to accomplish, a habit you want to pick up it gives you a lot of accountability because like for me there's like i literally write down a calendar i write a calendar because you remember guys i told you i like writing even though i don't have a good handwriting i write down a calendar literally i copy it from my phone and i write it then what happens is i cross off every day that i have actually done this habit and i don't do it every day like i, I may take like a week or two weeks or when i'm not motivated and then when i cancel off the days and I see like, oh my God, I've done this for a month. I feel more, I feel extra motivated. So basically that's one of the things I do to build healthy habits. And then after that, I write a note to myself and I'm like, Sheila, you did this. And then I buy myself cake. So that's what I do. 
basically reward. I reward myself and I also punish myself when I feel. <laughs> How do you punish yourself? Not to eat for for <laughs> like for like days. Um, I can't punish myself without eating. I love eating so much. So um, okay, I should I should do that. I will try that next time. But I think I just punish myself by not watching shows. I tell myself now you didn't do this, so this week you won't watch this show. This week you won't get in, into this app, and then I delete all the apps, or like I put my money somewhere where I can't access it. So those are like things I do. <laughs> that's actually amazing i think i've i've actually learned one or two things yeah so uh let's also wait, wait, share wait, 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 uh Mandira has raised his hand martin you can go on what did you say martin has raised his hand uh, he should okay, martin has raised his hand no 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 okay, it, you know it's okay i just wanted to clarify that sheila hasn't read the book that's why she doesn't follow the rules in the 5am book she didn't read the book but yeah the strategies i would like to strategies i use uh, are uh, let me say like let me say i don't watch tiktok i don't understand people that watch tiktok so or like social media what i do is that when i go when i come to work i just switch off my phone or i put it in airplane mode and i put it in the bag and uh, i put it like far away from me so i don't get to be on my on my on my on my socials and i also i don't upload you see how people use WhatsApp web and I don't know, TikTok web, I don't know, you know, all those things. I have the discipline, so I don't use stuff like that. I just don't see the point, you know, like, uh, and anyway, I don't know people who are who text me during the day. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I assume. But also I, tr I struggle wake waking up early in the morning. It's not for me. I'll not lie. It's not for me. I can't, I don't know. That's why I'm, that's why I want to be a remote job. Where, 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 where my day starts at 11, because waking up, Waking up at, I wake up at eight, but I, I leave the bed at nine. I'm those type of people, it's really difficult, but uh, I set up alarms. I can't wake up early. If I, if my alarm comes at seven, I'll wake up. But if it's, I don't know, if I don't hear it, I wake up like at nine, you know? Yeah, so I think my, the strategies I would use to have a healthy habit is just, it requires a lot of discipline to like plan out your, your night before, like Hilary said, so, I try to like let me say iron my clothes and uh, you know plan what I'm going what am I going to do today what challenges will I work on because sometimes you if you don't plan and exactly what you're going to do you end up coming you you just start and uh, you had planned let me say to do let me say fine tuning and tokenizing you do it for 30 minutes it fails you start you end up watching I don't know YouTube I don't know <laughs> your day just starts getting wasted and then you realize it's seven and you have to go home. So I try to plan my day out on exactly what I'm going to do the night before. And I set them out like, on I don't know. I don't read these fancy books that Sheila reads. <laughs> I don't read those things. I just I just try to plan my day and decide on what am I going to do. Uh, and also, uh, I try to take breaks, like really many breaks, where I, like I go maybe talk to someone or like maybe take a walk within the day. Because, you know, if you sit on the computer the whole day, you, sometimes you don't get anything done, but you just sit there like you're not productive. There's being busy, but you're not productive. So I try my best to be productive. So if between midday to like six, I know I'll be productive for four hours max. So I, I, I me, I, I won't lie to myself. If it clocks five and I'm tired, I'm tired. I'll just just get off. I'll disappear. I'll go maybe play a game, or you know I don't know maybe try to watch something. So. I, I plan out my day in like hours, like every two hours. Can I be productive in those two hours? Can I maximize those moments in my day when I'm productive, when I'm attentive? So that uh, so that's, I think, how I try to build healthy habits for myself. Yeah, Sheila, don't lie to us again. Thank you, you guys. <laughs> yeah. I actually like the part where you said, oh, I wish I could my phone uh, i mean i love social media i love tiktok but i mean uh, i think I, I just have to uh, be disciplined uh, and you know set time where i go to those platforms yeah i think for me that's actually part of what i do when i'm actually not doing anything i just like uh i go on tiktok and you know make myself happy basically so i think we have different ways of managing stress actually so beth do you have anything to say 
<laughs> no, I was just wondering how people can just put off their phones. <laughs> I mean, I always like, that, 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 <laughs> like that what if somebody was... wants you and it's an emergency or you know, some thoughts <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no, no, no. thank you guys for sharing. Okay, so uh, to my own case study, let me share you guys uh, the strategies I use. Uh, so, okay, so the first thing is, you know, planning how I want to do it. So the first thing I do is I do, I schedule alarm for 6.30 because I go jogging 6.30 to 8 uh, a.m. So I can, you know, be back at home and prepare for 9 a.m. stand up. So that's actually what I do. Then also I, I stated the number of times I go road jogging. I think at first I do go on Saturdays only. So that's actually what brought about stay consistent. You, you know, you just have to be consistent. Even if, even if it is once in a week you are doing it, you just have to be consistent. You don't have to do the first week, you do the whole seven days, the next week you didn't even go at all. So actually when you, when you want to resume, you actually feel it in your body because the first time I tried road jogging, I think I did about 10 kilometer. And when I went back home, I slept for the whole day. All my body aches. Like I had to use uh, some medicine, you know, to recover myself. I think after some points, I was actually getting used to it. I, I increased it to like three days. And at some point, you know, four days. Then finally, I think I go Mondays to Saturdays. Now I only stay at home on Sundays. I don't go jogging on Sundays. So that was actually the plan I, you know, created for myself. And that was uh, how I stayed consistent, basically. And also one other aspect of being consistent is actually having an accountability partner. If you look at one of my pictures I took with this particular guy, so this guy has a lot of experience more than I do. So he's actually my accountability partner. Whenever I get tired, he will come to my house and, you know, let's just go, right? So. How do I monitor my progress? Uh, like I said, I have health tracker on my phone, on my iPhone. Yeah, so whenever I'm done jogging, I, you know, check all the calories I've actually burnt, uh, the number of kilometers I went, and you know, basically. And finally, I celebrated my small wins. Yeah, I I appreciate myself, like Sheila said. I do buy myself a smoothie, like I buy smoothie whenever I complete any road jogging. So that's how I celebrated my small. But I actually don't punish myself whenever I don't go. So I'm not like she. <laughs> so Beth, over to you. Kindly share your strategies with us. Okay, let me share you my strategies. <laughs> not like I have much more of a big plan or anything. So the way I do my strategies would be out me having constant self reminders like am i drinking water am i sitting properly is my body or do i have muscle soreness checking myself and being self-aware in my environment that's usually how i implement the, what i have as healthy habits i uh, i think that's all up to tell okay so what are the outcomes uh, of this particular healthy habits so basically, it makes me uh, stay active during standups and other meetings. To be honest, whenever I complete, uh, I I go I go road jogging. When I come back home, I take my bath, and you know, I I just kind of feel like I'm I'm very light. Like I have the energy to, you know, to embark on my daily activities. Basically, so and it also makes me stay productive, and you know, it's increased my performance in terms of. Uh, like I said, I I'm I'm not I'm actually not that the type of person that works at night. I think when when it is nine, ten, eleven, maximum twelve, I get tired and I sleep because I'm I'm not always active at night. Then I try as much as possible to wake up by five, six in the morning. I start my road jogging. I come back home. Uh, I take my bath and I start my daily activities. And I don't sleep during the day. I don't know why. I don't know. I, I don't like sleeping during the day. So I actually work till like probably two or four. I play FIFA. I engage in some, you know, conversation with my friends until 10, 11, 12 in the, uh, at night. So that's actually how I manage my own routine. So, and I've been, you know, the, the, that particular habit has actually worked for me because it makes me active and it's increased my productivity basically. So over to you, Beth. 
Okay, some of the outcomes I have noticed in myself in drinking water regularly is that it really makes me happy. Like I used to have headaches in love. Now I I can say like I have very, very little headaches or none sometimes. Uh, back then I used to have a lot of headaches uh, like twice a week or three times a week and I would not be productive. Now that I'm drinking water and taking it regularly, I have less number of headaches, so which makes me healthy, and I can try to go to the classes. And uh, stretching also feels like I'm relieving some kind of stress. Each time I stretch, I will be relieving stress. So I think it's good. Over to you, Abdullah. Okay, so and also, our time is running out. So let's make this. Okay, so what are the challenges, basically? Definitely, if you, there, there are challenges, guys. Lack of motivation, you know, occupied with ten academic tasks. You know, imagine you've not been able to. You have a deadline by, let's say, ten a.m. and you've not even like you've not been able to complete that particular task, and you know you want to go, go jogging. So that's actually a big challenge. You just have to pick one. It's either I get my hundred percent in, uh, in the technical challenge, or I go road jogging. So you have to pick one. So that's actually one of the challenges I do have time constraint and you know negative self-talk some people would even say why are you jogging in the road like uh, so that that's actually the challenges i do i do have however uh i think in the next slide we'll be talking about how we're able to manage those challenges right so over to you beth yeah i think uh, most of our challenges are similar it's usually like we have lack of motivation Sometimes you just don't want to do the things you usually do. You don't want to drink or you don't want to stretch. I And forgetting on yourself. Like when each time you get deep into the thoughts, you forget to check on myself. So I think you need to have a constant self check. Like what am I doing now? How do I solve this? So yeah, constant self check, forgetting to self check. So the strategies I used was actually to find an accountability partner, which was the uh, the other guy you saw in the previous picture. And, uh, you know, break my jogging into bashes sometimes. Uh, I know I do jog for an hour. Probably when I have things to do, probably I have a pending task, I kind of reduce it to like 30 minutes. Instead of uh, instead of me going 10 kilometers, I probably go 5 kilometers. Or probably in the night, I complete the remaining 5 kilometers. And at some point, I would just do the 5 kilometers and I would you know, just let it be like that. So I also practice self-compassion and positive affirmation because it's actually something I love doing and, you know, it makes me stay healthy and I barely sick, right? So I think part of my research is also, that's actually what I've been able to learn about daily exercise and, you know, road jogging. You know, it makes you healthy and, you know, you actually, you actually see from uh, any kind of diseases like major, uh, minor diseases. So over to you, Beth. Okay, so some of the strategies I use will be self-checking. And like Abdul Salam, I don't make alarms just to remind me <laughs> to drink water or to move around. I have to self-check on myself. And something I also learned from Dinat Kadim was using the Pomodoro, Pomodoro technique, like working for 25 minutes and having a five minute break. I think that's also useful. You can also do this and have a self-check. Over to you. So I think uh, that would be the end of our presentation. Thank you guys for listening. Yeah, and I think as from today, I want I want to urge every one of us to develop a particular habit. You uh, develop a particular habit basically. Yeah, it actually goes a long way in the body. So I think uh, this is a question and answer section for anyone you know. Who wants to refer to any of our slides? I'll probably want to, you know, have questions basically and we'll be able to answer. Yeah, we we'll, would we'll like to just say thank you. We know you guys are busy. <laughs> so thank you for being here and listening to us and participating. So any questions would be welcome from anyone. Sheila, go ahead. Sheila? As expected. <laughs> I was actually supposed to start with, I'm sorry, guys, I know I talk a lot, but um, for me, it's not a question. It's uh, This was really nice. It was a really nice presentation. 
and it has reminded me to go back to trying to create um, healthy habits. I think what happened is after I read the books, immediately after I joined 10 Academy and boom, I forgot I was supposed to create healthy habits. And I started, I started panicking for my life, fighting for my life, yeah. So <laughs> thank you so much, this was amazing, yeah. yeah thank, thank you for the feedback. And also, Sheila, I think you forgot to say, can you hear me? Since you always say, can you hear me whenever you want to talk? <laughs> Yeah, because I'm not usually sure like whether you guys can hear me or not. So I'm like, um, can you hear me? I have you to ask. <laughs> it was just a joke. <laughs> I'm so, going to change. I'm going, I'm going to change. I'm going to use a different line. Yeah, you can use a different line from now on. So okay. anyone else <laughs> who wants to say something or share his thoughts? I think our time's up, so we want to say thank you again. Pascaline, if you're there, it's over to you. Uh, well, before Pascaline, I think uh, before I go, uh, one LD habit okay. I would also love to share is, you know, I don't know if anyone knows how to play chess. So chess is also a very good LD habit. Yeah, I know like how to play chess. <laughs> Okay, maybe I would say I would say I would send you a challenge link on uh, on Slack. Let's challenge each other. Like, let's play. Okay. And then our places probably doing our leisure hours. We could just you know have uh, an online challenge, basically. Yeah, that would be hope from my hand. Thank you, guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone. We are right on time. So, uh, Patai and Bethlehem, thank you, like, for sharing us your experience. I love the way you guys included, like, pictures just to prove us that you are actually doing this. And uh, all the wisdom that you shared with us, super, super helpful. So, thank you so much because we have to stay young forever. So, taking care of ourselves is an essential big time. So thank you everyone also for joining. Let's meet again on Monday. Have a great weekend.